Good morning and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. I am sorry to say, although many of you are going to love this, so I don't have to talk about it anymore. The 2019 Grand Sport Corvette giveaway is not live anymore. That's right. It's over. Quite frankly, I can hardly believe it. I feel like we were just starting, but it is over. And I want to thank you guys for your amazing support. It was really fun. And uh, this was by far my, you know, my favorite one that we have done. Just to answer a few questions that you guys had about the giveaway and the winner process, we turn over everything to the raffle company and then they do all the organizing and pick a winner and then we get to make the call. And also people were asking like, if I win and you call and I don't pick up, is that it? No, we try many times. It happened before we called the guy like, 20 times he finally picked up because he was at work um, but even if you can't pick up like we will try again we'll try later on we'll send email we'll send physical mail to the address on file like we will do everything in our power once once a winner is picked it's pretty free like you'd have to try hard not to win like you would really have to be trying to not be reached um, so don't worry about that if you win like you're gonna get picked only after like a week or two of trying would we then have to pick somebody else but um, it's pretty much guaranteed again that should be happening in about a week or somewhere in the time frame of a week or two we will be calling so if you didn't get a call yet don't worry we didn't pick a winner yet that's it that's a wrap huh, huh. that's a wrap for the 2019 Corvette Grand Sport giveaway and don't worry if you didn't enter or if you don't end up winning we are going to be doing more because people loved it so much and I'm thinking next maybe we do a truck or something Corvettes are great and all but we've done three now and I feel like that's I feel like we got to try something else give us some ideas in the comments below moving on from the car we have the next big mod for the Jeep boys and it is a winch a 9500 pound Smittybilt XRC winch and uh, although the Jeep is a bigger budget than the Blazer. It still is a budget build nonetheless. Bigger budget than the Blazer, bigger budget than the Blazer. I'm seeing if I can say that. 9,500 pounds and it was only $280 if you can believe it, 280 bucks. Now I'm sure that the you know $2,000 super expensive ones are the best in the industry. Who is making all this noise? It's a friggin' bobcat driving around. Come on, I'm trying to vlog. Don't they know my vlogging is more important than their yard? I'm sure that the, you know, $2,000 winches from Warren and whatever, I'm sure they're the best and you can go 12,000 pounds or 15,000 pounds, whatever. But here's the deal. I've had a Smittybilt XRC on my Duramax for over three years and it's been great. I've had no issues. It still works just fine. Um, so I'm confident going with that brand again. And, and like I said, you know, the price is amazing. Got the winch in the back of the Buick because I was gonna drive a different vehicle out there, but I realized how am I gonna do it myself? How am I gonna drop off a vehicle and pick up the Jeep at the same time? So I came back over here to get the loaner Buick and we're gonna fly up to Whitmoyer, pick up the Jeep, then go to Shane shop. If you can't tell, I'm, I'm rushing today a little bit. This is good. This is what I wanna see. This is what I need right now. Some good old traffic on the 83 bridge every day of my life. It doesn't matter what time, what day, it could be a weekend, it could be 1 p.m., 9 p.m., six o'clock in the morning. Every single time I'm on this godforsaken bridge, there is always traffic always traffic it's sad that like my total journey is really only about maybe 35 miles but i'm sitting here to, to do everything i have to do but i'm sitting here like debating can i do that in under two and a half hours like i have two and a half hours to go 30 something miles and i'm like i don't know if i can make it because this road has desperately needed three lanes now for years and it just never gets done never get because tax money is wasted on all the people who are in the government who are all millionaires but the rest of us get screwed billions and billions of dollars every year in tax money and we have the same crappy roads that's why i hate i hate when people when you talk about taxes and people are like well the roads you go to drive on the roads yeah the crappiest roads of all time that were built in 1955 and haven't been updated since. And I gotta take a step back and laugh because here I am raging in my Buick and I feel like a lot of Buick owners spend their time doing this. Good news is we made it and uh, we're ready to pick up the Jeep boys. I'm excited, I can't wait to get a winch on there. The front bumper really, I mean it looks good, but it really didn't look right without the, uh, without the winch on it. There's Beaver's vet, Beaver's uh, personal vet. He got one last year and they do have that beautiful, I think it's called electric blue. Raptor for sale or maybe it's sold. That's why it's over here on this side, but I love that color Anyway, where's where's the Jeep? Jeep has arrived and the winch is in the back of the Buick uh, Let's put it in the back seat. It is pretty heavy. I will say very heavy duty 
which is a good sign. Good to go. So the Jeep is all set. Uh, new brakes all around. They did the front too because Beaver's a great guy. Uh, we got the AC condenser replaced. Look at how nice that looks. Uh, the O2 sensor for the check engine light. And I think that's it. Finally, we made it. After a lot of traffic and some raging, we're here at PDW for the winch install. I didn't even see you. What? You're over here like inside of a Duramax, buddy. Yeah. Andy's truck. Andy from Accents Window Tinting. This is a uh, 350. Look at those adapters so you can run the, uh, the semi-truck tires. Pretty cool. It's ridiculous. Huge freaking wheels. What? What? I, oh, for the Jeep. Got a winch. Oh, did you get one? Winch, got one. Did the trans break yet? No, but the clutch opened out. <laughs> Typical D36. <laughs> I always uh, give Mike crap about his dodges because he's gone through like literally 10 transmissions. <laughs> that winch, dude, it's heavy. Not everybody's as big as you, all right? Ooh. The muscle guy lifting it. There it is, keep your winch happy, okay? Okay. Man, you gonna get the Bluetooth one? They make a Bluetooth one? Yeah, Bluetooth one. Dude, nice. this was 250 bucks, let me tell oh, you. Okay. 280 actually. <laughs> I went for the cheap one, dude. <laughs> okay. Cool though, because they're still magnetic, which is cool, I like that. You can just yeah. take your controller and put it right there on your bumper. It's kind of nice. Thanks, bud. Not bad for 250. Yeah, honestly, for the price. That's now what I said. Now we gotta unspool it and get a synthetic roof. I was thinking about that too. But you know, the Smittabelt, you put that one on my Duramax like three years ago and it still works. Oh yeah. So I felt like it was a good brand to go with. Oh, they're not horrible winches. You should have got synthetic ropes nicer if you're really gonna use it and pull on it. So if it does ever snap, it doesn't come back and- uh, And kill somebody. Kill somebody, <laughs> cut them in half. Looks yeah, good in there. The really good to slow it out. I know, I'm adding so much, it's, it's slow and I'm adding so much weight. <laughs> No, I mean, when those tires go on, I'm genuinely concerned about how slow it's going to be. Like, I might have to, I'm going to have to do something, yeah. Definitely going to make the Jeep look awesome and be useful. We will never get stuck now with this winch. This is more than enough winch for a little Jeep. And it really did look kind of weird with that big hole in the bumper, so it's going to look great. How hard is it to install a winch, Shane? Not that bad. I figured you could do it pretty quick. It's not that bad. That's why I showed up at 5 p.m. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 33 hey, can come off for winch? Yeah, on my way. <laughs> oh, yeah? On my way at 3 p.m. But you'll have video evidence of what I went through to get here in time. Oh. The traffic oh, was awful. So that's supposed to make it all right. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's supposed to make it all right. You're supposed to feel bad for me. Oh, why? And I'm like, what the hell is he doing? And he reminds himself of 1.58 in the morning. Then That's when I always going. text you, 2 o'clock. The dog go down the steps and I wake up and be like, all right, who's coming to my house and grab the 357 Magnum in the, <laughs> in the side drawer? Freaking awesome already. I just, I live for that look. That's all, when I got it for the Duramax, how about it? I said, I was like, all I want is the look of the cable coming out with the hook. That's all I wanted to winch for. Yeah, you did say it. I don't care. I just wanted for the look. This is 9,500. Yeah, I just mean, can't, I can't believe how cheap it was. Double the weight of what, double the weight of what the Jeep weighs, easy. Usually probably weigh about 3,800. I was gonna say, they don't feel heavy when you're driving them. I mean, the wind like, Put Dude, on the highway, if you're doing 80, you're gone. <laughs> you gotta steer you, all the time. You feel it. Shane, you know I can't use that light bar on the street. It's illegal. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Because we're so legal with everything. And put it on the side. What do you think? It really don't. So my options are right here or over the top of the center. Might be the world's fastest uh, winch install, buddy. Got the little control box mounted on the side. We went for the side one, ultimately, because didn't want it over the cable, which I think is, is a good call. And uh, so the controller will attach right here, and then you can use it, and then magnetically put it on the bumper. Shane's over here just working away. 
This is like what? You're like 20 minutes into this. Yeah, about. And it's uh, it's pretty much done, which is awesome. Got all the wiring, run up through there, come up through the grill, and right to the battery. And that is a done deal. Dude, to keep our winch happy, power out once a month you're supposed to. I had my Duramax like eight months and never did this. <laughs> like I've let it go for like well over eight never months before. Ever ran it out or nothing? No. And it still works, believe it or not. I I didn't I don't remember getting one of these. It was in a box. <laughs> it was in a box. Well, I didn't look. Do uh, some things here, and I guess I'll do that to keep my, my winch happy. It's winch in action. Start it up. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> we got a winch. Yes. Yes. I love it. I love a winch. Who doesn't, who doesn't love a good winch? I'm hooking on the hook. Wherever you want, bud. It's your choice. I like the hook. I think the hook is cool. Okay. <laughs> now it's perfect. Now it's installed. Boom. Bam. Boom. Love it. She's ready to roll. She is ready to roll. We will never get stuck now because we can free ourselves. Yeah, now you get to pull out a... Uh... Deuces. Yeah, do five, I, five I can pull a five ton right out with this winch, no problem. <laughs> we are home, the winch is installed, looks great. Looks really good. I keep saying the same thing, but I love the, I don't know, something about like a truck or a Jeep with a winch in the front, totally different. We got Bobby over here doing something with the Mustang. Hey buddy, when'd you get here? here for a while, man, I just your tools. I was gonna say, it's fine. You I gotta mooch off my friends. You come over here anytime you want, buddy. Is this even my house? Is it your house? I thought this is your house. I do appreciate your help getting this thing home yesterday, by the way. Oh, yeah, buddy. Sure thing. Still, uh, gotta, I gotta get to work on this. I haven't had any time today. I've been running around doing other crap. But I'll get started on this truck uh, hopefully tomorrow. I wanna do a video. Oh, I, got, I forgot to put my license plate on. That's something. Had to do it, couldn't help myself. All right, as you can see, the Jeep is back at home, safe and sound in the garage, winch installed, working well, and once again, really completes the look of the Jeep. I think it's really coming along, and really, uh, I only have a few other little things I wanna do, and then the build is pretty much, the budget Jeep build is pretty much done, moving very quickly, but that was my goal. My goal is actually to build it in one week. Uh, unfortunately, I'm still waiting on wheels and tires. That's the one big thing that I'm still waiting on, I mean, the, the look would be so much cooler if I had those. Um, so tomorrow I'm either doing a OBS truck video or if I get them in, which they're supposed to be coming really soon, I'll be putting the, the wheels and tires on the Jeep. Hope you enjoyed this upload. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Take care and have a great night.